Welcome to this decade's first episode of If Baseball Players Were Honest. Three years, seven baseball editions, and nearly a million views later, this series went from me doing simple voiceovers in my bedroom to, well, what you're about to see. In addition to this video, you'll also be seeing a regular edition of the series coming out in a few days for those craving the original style. I would like to personally thank Major League Baseball, the Marlins organization, and of course, the players featured in this video for giving us the opportunity. Definitely make sure to follow the players you meet in this video on social media, as they're all incredibly cool guys who are more than deserving of it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. What opposing pitcher makes you most uncomfortable to face? Any, anybody in particular? Uh, yeah, Jody's Familia from the Mets. I feel like uh, I don't see his stuff well, and he got a pretty good fastball, and uh, he's uncomfortable facing him. Yeah. Sinker too. Like yeah, really good sinker. God. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Sometimes. Okay. I'm a big okay. pepperoni bacon guy. I can maybe throw pepper or pineapple on it, but more of the meat. Do man. Any athletes you liked growing up? Uh, Juan Pierre, obviously former uh, Florida Marlin. Um, Dwayne Wade. Um, I'm gonna do one for every every sport. Uh, Ricky Williams when he was with the Dolphins, mm. um, and Ole Okunin for the Panthers. That's you a guys, yeah, there right. You, go. you guys didn't know. I knew that. Are there any players that are either in the game now or have played in the game in the past that you look up to as a player? Uh, yeah, uh, my favorite player all the time was Pedro. You know, Pedro Martinez. You know, I watch Pedro like on TV. You know, like see how he's fighting on the mouse. You know, mm -hmm. like he's confident on the mouse. You know, and I, I say I wanna be like him. You know, uh, favorite athletes growing up? Anyone in particular? Uh, yeah, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, uh, I like I like basketball, and I always watch him when I. When, I, when he played for the Lakers, and uh, uh, that was my favorite thing growing up, even in all sports, like not just uh, baseball or basketball and, and football. Uh, I always like basketball. You ever watched The Office? Yes, I, I watched The Office a long time ago. I haven't watched it recently. You have a favorite character? Um, you can remember? Dwight. Dwight. There, definitely. Oh, definitely. Good man. Tell him not Dwight. That is not a very nice thing to say about him. Tell him to stop. Are you kidding? Quiet, me? you. Have you ever watched The Office? No. Really? I would say again, my fiance loves it. Mm -hmm. She's trying to put me on the show. Listen to her. <laughs> One thing about you, I think I read that you had some sort of haircutting yes. side gig going yes. on in the minor leagues. What was going on there? Can you talk about that? Um, you know, traveling to different cities, traveling to um, different places in the country. You don't really know barbers, and a haircut can make or break in two weeks, you know? So it's kind of like you got to have a good haircut. And I got to the point where guys are trusting me enough to um, give them haircuts to be that team barber, as they would say. Um, but yeah, ever since I made it big with that, like that's Juice's um, territory. That that's Juice right there. He's the man, so mm -hmm. I, I let him do do his thing. The social medias you want to plug real quick? Yeah, uh, I'm on Twitter and I'm pretty active there. I'm always uh, I'm always checking what's going on there. It's uh, M Rojas official. So go there, follow you will like it. <laughs> one and zero is a manager too, right? I know. Yeah, one and zero in September. Yeah, Donny Donny V gave me the the opportunity to be the manager the last game of the season last year and it went well for us 2-1 against the Phillies and I'm 1-0 babe. You're gonna go undefeated. Never know. No. Miguel Rojas coming out to take the ball from Ryan Stanek. It's a little pep talk, managerial pep talk there. I like it. Like, am I really undefeated? Any players you still look up to, like playing now in any sport? Um, I, I think everybody in the game looks up to Mike Trout, man. I mean, he's the best player to strap on some cleats. Um, but uh, Adam Jones, he's in Japan now, but he was definitely one I was I was compared to growing up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, getting scouted and stuff. But he was uh, I, I was fortunate enough to meet him, get a ball signed by him, and a couple bats. That's cool. So that was cool. Dexter Fowler, Cameron Maven, got the pleasure of playing with uh, Cam in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, so a couple guys that I look up to. Do you have a favorite away ballpark? Actually, it's, it, it was St. Louis. Um, I trust everybody, you know, you don't really see it on TV where the, the grandstands, you know, like what, rather than going on the field, you look up, it's five tier grandstands, it's 50,000 fans every, every single night. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool atmosphere to, to play in. Do you have a favorite away ballpark here on the road? Uh, yeah. I uh, play on the Mets. The Mets? Yeah. Nice. That's our major stadium, you know. I love to be there, you know. And there's a lot of fans coming in the game. Worst date you ever been on? What was that like? Ooh, worst date? Um, 
don't really know a worse date, but um, this girl asked me to junior prom one time, gave me the ultimatum of either choose a, at a game that night, choose between a game or junior prom. Um, she said either you can date me and go to um, junior prom or I'm leaving you and you can go play baseball. I said, see you later. Favorite place to eat? I guess while we're on the topic of food. Any favorite restaurants, things Chipotle. to eat? Chipotle. I never tried, actually tried it. Yeah, tried uh, Chipotle and Bolle. Yeah. So if, I, if I'm going to Chipotle for the first time, what do I get? From Sterling Sharp, what do I get? A bowl to start, uh, just so you can always shake it up. Mm -hmm. um, do extra rice, white rice, double chicken, mm -hmm. uh, queso, a hot salsa, and cheese. I'm literally going to watch this back and get exactly that, <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate that. Go to place for food. Any good ones? Uh, you know, I'm a Latin guy. You know, I like Latin place, you know, but here in Jupiter, I don't have like any specific like Latin food, you know, but I love a Chipotle. Our favorite place to eat could be anything. Bole. Yeah. I literally eat there every single day this, this past off season, sometimes twice a day when I'm not, I'm not exaggerating on that one. Um, yeah, no, lunch, dinner, I'd eat it at, at any time for sure. Um, which teammate would you want to see most do karaoke? Uh, it's gonna have to be Francisco Cervelli. Yes. I think uh, I think he got a, a pretty good uh, playlist on his uh, on his house the other night, and I think it will be it will be fun to watch. So I was recommended something before. So what is the go-to dish at Chipotle? At you? Chipotle, I got like rye rice, uh, black beans, uh, the canitas, pork. Okay, I remember that. Uh, yeah, South Green. For me, that's my you know like go my stuff. favorite. Yeah. <laughs> South Green cheese and lettuce. Hard okay. shell or soft shell on a taco? No, <laughs> I don't like spice, you know, I don't like taco. Any social medias you want to plug? You on Twitter? Uh, I'm on Twitter, but I'm not really, like, I don't really look at my Twitter. Um, it's a lot of negativity on Twitter. Right? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm trying to be positive. Um, but Instagram mostly. Just, okay. yeah. Louis Brinson on Instagram? Yeah. Just okay. Louis cool. Brinson. Also, off the cup question, last one. How tall are you? Because you are even taller than me. How tall I am? 6'5", maybe 6'6". Six, six. Okay. All right. That's the last question. So, he's got me beat. I think you're right there. I don't know. Yeah. He's definitely got me beat. You're the same size, you think? Oh, I'm more tall, yeah. No, he's standing up straight now. You're down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to end the interview now. Like you got to cut yeah. the mic. So, Marlins pitcher Tommy Ewald was the first player that we got to talk to. And of course, the only time that I actually needed my mic pack on the entire trip, the receiver crapped out. But thankfully, Mr. Five Points Vids was there to let us use his equipment, which is how we were able to get the rest of the footage. I was going to ask John Boy to do a lip reading of our interview, but I'm kind of short on internet clout. Evold was a really nice dude, and he's the guy that I've had on my Twitter banner since early March. Really disappointed that my pack broke, but I appreciate Tommy taking the time to chat with us. And that's it, folks. I hope you all enjoyed. Please do go show each of the players I talked to some love on social media, and be on the lookout for a regular episode of the series in a couple days. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.